Before we get into today's episode, I want to let you know about a source of powerful free resources to help you as a parent or grandparent get equipped to invest in the faith of the next generation. Our Next Gen website has been designed to help empower you to navigate tough issues with the young people in your life. At NextGen, you'll find articles, entertainment reviews from a Christian perspective, parenting stories, helpful parenting guides, and even answers to the tough questions. All these resources are free as you engage on the front line of raising the next generation for Jesus. So why not register today at premierinsight.org forward slash resources to receive free resources from NextGen. That's premierinsight.org forward slash resources. And now it's time for today's podcast. The Bible in a Year, bringing the Word to life. Father God, thank you for this word from the prophet Isaiah. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of God endures forever. May that be true for us today. Amen. Psalm 46 God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice. The earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what the Lord has done. The desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. He says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Luke chapter 17, verses 11 to 37. Now on his way to Jerusalem, Jesus travelled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. As he was going into a village, ten men who had leprosy met him. They stood at a distance and called out in a loud voice, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. When he saw them, he said, Go, show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. One of them, when he saw he was healed, came back praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him, and he was a Samaritan. Jesus asked, We're not all ten cleansed. Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give praise to God except this foreigner? Then he said to him, Rise and go. Your faith has made you well. Once on being asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, Jesus replied, The coming of the kingdom of God is not something that can be observed. Nor will people say, Here it is, or there it is, because the kingdom of God is in your midst. Then he said to his disciples, The time is coming when you will long to see one of the days of the Son of Man, but you will not see it. People will tell you, There he is, or here he is. Do not go running after them. For the Son of Man in his day will be like the lightning which flashes and lights up the sky from one end to the other. But first he must suffer many things and be rejected by this generation. Just as it was in the days of Noah, so also will it be in the days of the Son of Man. People were eating, drinking, marrying and be given in marriage up to the day Noah entered the ark. Then the flood came and destroyed them all. It was the same in the days of Lot. People were eating and drinking, buying and selling, 
planting and building. But the day Lot left Sodom, fire and sulphur rained down from heaven and destroyed them all. It will be just like this on the day the Son of Man is revealed. On that day, no one who is on the housetop with possessions inside should go down to get them. Likewise, no one in the field should go back for anything. Remember Lot's wife? Whoever tries to keep their life will lose it, and whoever loses their life will preserve it. I tell you, on that night two people will be in one bed, one will be taken and the other left. Two women will be grinding corn together, one will be taken and the other left. Where, Lord, they asked. He replied, where there is a dead body, there the vultures will gather. Deuteronomy chapters 26 verse 1 to chapter 28 verse 14. When you have entered the land that the Lord your God is giving you as an inheritance and have taken possession of it and settled in it, take some of the first fruits of all that you produce from the soil of the land that the Lord your God is giving you and put them in a basket. Then go to the place that the Lord your God will choose as a dwelling for his name and say to the priest in office at the time, I declare today to the Lord your God that I have come to the land the Lord swore to our ancestors to give us. The priest shall take the basket from your hands and set it down in front of the altar of the Lord your God. Then you shall declare before the Lord your God, My father was a wandering Aramean, and he went down into Egypt with a few people and lived there and became a great nation, powerful and numerous. But the Egyptians ill-treated us and made us suffer, subjecting us to harsh labour. Then we cried out to the Lord, the God of our ancestors, and the Lord heard our voice and saw our misery, toil and oppression. So the Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm, with great terror and with signs and wonders. He brought us to this place and gave us this land, a land flowing with milk and honey. And now I bring the first fruits of the soil that you, Lord, have given me. Place the basket before the Lord your God and bow down before him. Then you and the Levites and the foreigners residing among you shall rejoice in all the good things the Lord your God has given to you and your household. When you have finished setting aside a tenth of all your produce in the third year, the year of the tithe, you shall give it to the Levite, the foreigner, the fatherless, and the widow, so that they may eat in your towns and be satisfied. Then say to the Lord your God, I have removed from my house the sacred portion and have given it to the Levite, the foreigner, the fatherless, and the widow, according to all you commanded. I have not turned aside from your commands, nor have I forgotten any of them. I have not eaten any of the sacred portion while I was in mourning, nor have I removed any of it while I was unclean, nor have I offered any of it to the dead. I have obeyed the Lord my God. I have done everything you commanded me. Look down from heaven, your holy dwelling place, and bless your people Israel and the land you have given us as you promised on oath to our ancestors, a land flowing with milk and honey. The Lord your God commands you this day to follow these decrees and laws. Carefully observe them with all your heart and with all your soul. You have declared this day that the Lord is your God and that you will walk in obedience to him, that you will keep his decrees, commands and laws, that you will listen to him. And the Lord has declared this day that you are his people, his treasured possession as he promised, and that you are to keep all his commands. He has declared that he will set you in praise, fame and honour high above all the nations he has made and that you will be a people holy to the Lord your God as he promised. Deuteronomy chapter 27 Moses and the elders of Israel commanded the people, Keep all these commands that I give you today. When you have crossed the Jordan into the land the Lord your God is giving you, Set up some large stones and coat them with plaster. Write on them all the words of this law when you have crossed over to enter the land the Lord your God is giving you, 
a land flowing with milk and honey, just as the Lord, the God of your ancestors, promised you. And when you have crossed the Jordan, set up these stones on Mount Ebal, as I command you today, and coat them with plaster. Build there an altar to the Lord your God, an altar of stones. Do not use any iron tool on them. Build the altar of the Lord your God with stones from the field and offer burnt offerings on it to the Lord your God. Sacrifice fellowship offerings there, eating them and rejoicing in the presence of the Lord your God. And you shall write very clearly all the words of this law on these stones you have set up. Then Moses and the Levitical priests said to all Israel, Be silent, Israel, and listen. You have now become the people of the Lord your God. Obey the Lord your God and follow his commands and decrees that I give you today. On the same day, Moses commanded the people, When you have crossed the Jordan, these tribes shall stand on Mount Gerizim to bless the people. Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Joseph, and Benjamin. And these tribes shall stand on Mount Ebal to pronounce curses. Reuben, Gad, Asher, Zebulun, Dan, and Naphtali. The Levites shall recite to all the people of Israel in a loud voice. Cursed is anyone who makes an idol, a thing detestable to the Lord, the work of skilled hands, and sets it up in secret. Then all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is anyone who dishonours their father or mother. Then all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is anyone who moves their neighbour's boundary stone. Then all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is anyone who leads the blind astray on the road. Then all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is anyone who withholds justice from the foreigner, the fatherless or the widow. Then all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is anyone who sleeps with his father's wife, for he dishonours his father's bed. Then all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is anyone who has sexual relations with an animal. Then all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is anyone who sleeps with his sister, the daughter of his father, or the daughter of his mother. Then all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is anyone who sleeps with his mother-in-law. Then all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is anyone who kills their neighbour secretly. Then all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is anyone who accepts a bribe to kill an innocent person. Then all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is anyone who does not uphold the words of this law by carrying them out. Then all the people shall say, Amen. Deuteronomy chapter 28 If you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all his commands that I give you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations on the earth. All these blessings will come on you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God. You will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. The fruit of your womb will be blessed and the crops of your land and the young of your livestock, the calves of your herds and the lambs of your flocks. Your basket and your kneading trough will be blessed. You will be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. The Lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against you will be defeated before you. They will come at you from one direction, but flee from you in seven. The Lord will send a blessing on your barns and on everything you put your hand to. The Lord your God will bless you in the land he is giving you. The Lord will establish you as his holy people, as he promised you on oath, if you keep the commands of the Lord your God and walk in obedience to him then all the peoples on earth will see that you are called by the name of the Lord and they will fear you. The Lord will grant you abundant prosperity in the fruit of your womb, the young of your livestock and the crops of your ground, 
in the land he swore to your ancestors to give you. The Lord will open the heavens, the storehouse of his bounty, to send rain on your land in season and to bless all the work of your hands. You will lend to many nations, but will borrow from none. The Lord will make you the head, not the tail. If you pay attention to the commands of the Lord your God that I give you this day and carefully follow them, you will always be at the top, never at the bottom. Do not turn aside from any of the commands I give you today, to the right or to the left, following other gods and serving them. Father God, thank you for your word to us today. We praise you that as we listen, your Holy Spirit is at work renewing us day by day. Amen. For more resources to help you bring the word to life, go to premier.org.uk forward slash Bible. This reading has been taken from the NIV Bible Biblica and is published by Hodder and Stoughton.